And we've had team coverage around the clock on this developing story, starting last night with Pepper Baker into the morning hours with Wanye Reese and this evening getting the latest with Abby Casaurus and Inslee Nichols. A gas station clerk, as we've told you, played a crucial role in helping law enforcement track down the second missing man after a 12 hour search. Abby Casaurus joins us live near Rumble Road to explain how the clerk turned the tables on the suspect. Yes, this is the gas station where Justin Donnelly tried to stop to get a drink and a ride, but the clerk recognized him and stopped him. Good luck. Steve Reese says his gas station is good luck for scratch off winners. You see all those winning lottery tickets we got on that board back there? Hanging? But on Wednesday morning, he says he couldn't believe the odds when 26 year old Justin Donnelly walked into his store to get a power aid. He then asked the clerk to call him a taxi. So I was thinking, man, there's no place this guy can go and not be recognized. And all of a sudden, I'm looking at him. Police had been unable to locate that's, Donnelly that's for hours. Reese says he recognized the man from his photos on Facebook and the distinct tattoos on his face. He's shooting at the police. He's shooting at any of us. Reese says he reached for his pistol and told Donnelly to get on the ground. But the suspect tried to run away. Reese fired several shots as the man ran down Rumble Road. The Monroe County Sheriff's Office says that Donnelly then tried to get into a woman's car. But when deputies arrived to the scene, he then fled into the woods. After a few minutes, they were able to arrest him. Uh, not only that, that bottle of uh, powder he'd walked out with, he took off running with it, so he owes me for that. Reese credits law enforcement for capturing Donnelly and said he just played a small part. I saw that tattoo face, I knew what I had to do, and no doubt in my mind. Yes, he had to be, somehow we needed to stop this man, you know. This gas station is nearly two miles away from that rest area where the two men escaped police. Live in Monroe County, Abby Casores, 13 WMAZ News. All right, Abby, thanks very much for the information. Taking a closer look, what do we know about these two men? According to the Georgia Department of Corrections, 23-year-old Eugene Wilson is from Covington and has not served any time in a state prison. But the department says Justin Donnelly was released from prison in May 2018 after serving almost four years for a burglary sentence in Pike County. He was last held at Phillips State Prison in Gwinnett County. Donnelly and Wilson are both charged with aggravated assault on a police officer, possession of a firearm and the commission of a felony, and possession of drug-related objects. High-speed chases are not unusual in Monroe County, which sits on the interstate that links Atlanta and Florida. Ansley Nichols is live on the scene of the rest stop off Interstate 75, where last night's chase ended. You can see a video here of that rest stop from Drone 13. Ansley, do we know how often high-speed chases happen in Monroe County? Well, guys, they happen quite a handful of times around here, and that's why Sheriff Brad Freeman says that he trains each deputy extensively on driving training so they're prepared for any of these high speed chases. Now take a look at the dash cam video here from one of the chases that happened in October, and Freeman says these chases are often at very high and dangerous speeds. In this video, they were going 120 miles per hour. These chases often start from interstate traffic stops. He says it's people who commit crimes and don't want to go to jail. Freeman says those chases do endanger the deputies, but they're also concerned about putting other drivers at risk when on these high speed chases. Captain Michael Oglethorpe says he has been in a few, but that it's even more dangerous when suspects are firing shots at the deputies like last night. It's scary when you, I mean, it's already scary when you're chasing someone and then when you get shot at, that add to it, you know, because you don't know. I mean, if someone shoot at you, you don't know if the bullet gonna hit you or not, you know. So it's it's intensified. Now it was Deputy Christian Sawley that chased the two suspects to this rest stop here right last night, and he, the sheriff's office, says that he won't be back at work until Friday. Live in Monroe County, in Zinnacles, 13 WMAZ News. Thank you, Inslee. The sheriff's office says they've had two high-speed chases in just one week this past month.